Are you missing a process for your sketches? Do you want your sketches to be clean and easily readable, to be much easier to draw line art over, and to give you a full idea of what the finished product will look like? Well, stick around. In this video, I'll show you my process for sketching and how you can take your sketching to the next level to make it way easier in the final product. Hello, I'm the one you lost, a professional illustrator from Texas, and I've been drawing anime for about 10 years and really got good about 4 to 5 years ago. And in this video, I'll show you how to make a clean sketch that gets you ready for the final product. Okay, so starting off, we have construction. I usually start with the head, use the liquify tool to fix things up. Having a strong start for your head is super important. I then start constructing the body using blocks. And this is a great way to really help structure everything. I usually end up warping it around to make it look correct. Don't freak out if you don't get it right on the first try. It takes a little bit of effort. So you want to start with the torso and then work your way to the pelvis to kind of make sure it's all in 3D. You want to be thinking in terms of 3D all the time. Um, for the arms, I use this weird like zigzag looking thing to kind of help structure everything. And what we are going to be doing in this video to get the body right is we're just going to build it piece by piece and then we're going to be drawing clothes over it. Make sure in your sketches that you have all your pieces separated in different layers and put them all in a folder. That way you can manipulate it as you go. So once we have the basic body, we are then going to start kind of fixing it. Then we're going to try to fix it into the composition. We don't want the character to be small. We do want to adjust to make sure it looks correctly. As you can see, we are adding piece by piece on top of what we have finished. So now comes the resizing. If you notice, I noticed that the head was too big. So since we had the head on a separate layer, we can just shrink it by itself. We are now going to construct it into a character since we have the pose. So I wanted to kind of go for like a cute, almost schoolgirl look. So I went for a jacket here, some comfy looking clothes, and we we're just drawing on a separate layer on top of the original sketch. That way we can easily make sure the clothes are morphed around the body. Remember to flip your canvas, super important. Like I said, drawing on top of the original, erasing it, and making sure it looks correct. Use the liquify tool a lot. It's a super helpful tool. If your program doesn't have a liquify tool, you might be able to get away with morphing it with transform, but I would recommend getting a program with the liquify tool. It just makes life so much easier. Here I'm drawing the skirt. Briefcase, we're just adding pieces at a time. I wanted everything to flow in kind of almost a wind, like the wind is blowing. So I want everything to flow in an even, consistent motion from the tie to the tail and here pretty soon to the hair. This is a horse girl. It's specifically Tomoe. Uh, a VTuber friend of mine who I've really been enjoying uh, their content. They're super comfy. I'll leave a link to their channel in the comments if you're interested. If not, you can just ignore it. Again, we're building around the character. Super important. I went ahead and flipped the canvas again just to double check everything. Now we're adding the guidelines to the face. It's super important to remember the side of the head is flat, so I try to emphasize that by drawing the flat part of the head. The eyes will be right at the corner of the edge of the face. That's a good way to recognize where the eyes go. And the eyelash on the side, that little tipping point, needs to be pointing almost in a triangle shape toward the mouth. That tends to make it look correct. I then erase the guidelines, start adding the nose and the mouth. 
Again, we're going for a comfy look, so I want a very happy looking character. Now, I actually messed up on the hair here, and I'll explain how I messed up and how I corrected it. I need to do an entire another video on hair. Hair is so complicated, but also so much fun. So here we'll actually see where I made a mistake. Um, the side of the head, the the hair doesn't conform to the shape. It looks like almost it's almost completely flat, perpendicular to the head, and that is incorrect. And I don't catch it till way later on in the coloring of the sketch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate folder underneath the sketch layer and we're going to plan out our coloring and what it's going to look like in the final process. The reason I do this is because I can't visualize things in my head. I have aphantasia, so I have to kind of make it up as I go along. And having a finished product with colors and shading helps me plan out how I'm going to finish the artwork. And I think it'll help you, too, if you struggle to really visualize things in your head. As you can see here, I just noticed it. And what I did was I used a liquify tool to make the hair a bit wider and coming off the head a bit more. I'm adding little adjustments to make sure it looks right. I start adding the uh, lines to shape the breasts, kind of in like a sweater or cardigan type blouse. All right, here comes the coloring. I put it all in a separate layer and just use the fill tool. You can... um. Use the fill tool, you can paint it in, however your preferred method is. I personally love the fill, the fill tool. Never use solid white unless it's specifically for like intensely bright shines. Um, using pure white tends to make your um, the contrast of your artwork seem a bit more extreme. And in anime, that can work, but most of the time, you just don't want to do that. You want to treat it like a painting. So just getting all the colors in at the moment. Use the uh, control U command to change the hue and saturation and lumosity if your colors aren't quite right. That tends to help me out a whole lot, and I'd recommend you do it too. And there we go. There are the base colors. And you might want to really slow down the video here because here pretty soon I'm going to be using a multiply layer on top of the folder to add shading and that happens really fast. So now we're going to start light carving using the multiply layer. We're going to use everything and just kind of get the lighting in. Turn your, um, your brush into an eraser by pressing C on your uh, keyboard whenever you're using a pen and that'll turn it into an eraser. So then I added an add glow layer and I ended up making it too intense at first. I didn't think it looked good so I lowered the opacity and I would recommend doing that and make sure your soft airbrush when you use that is really, really light. I then did the eyes, and we have our finished, fully planned out artwork. I 
I really hope this helped you. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye.